everybody, this is the Bowtie Boss here for Fight Combat Sports News. I'm recapping UFC on Fox from Chicago. It's Ben Henderson versus Josh Thompson. And you heard my prediction last week that Ben Henderson was going to sweep the floor with Thompson. And again, he won a, a unanimous five-round decision. And some people are calling it the worst decision ever. Sometimes it just boggles my mind how people say, hey, I, I thought that Josh Thompson was going to do better, and he did. Therefore, I now think he won, or I think it was the worst decision of all time. You know, I, I heard that same thing when it came to GSP versus Johnny Hendricks, or, or John Jones versus Gustafson, uh, Gustafson, or BJ Penn and, and um, Frankie Edgar, the first fight. Look, guys, every decision that doesn't go the way you think it's going to go is not the worst decision ever. And a lot of times in, in MMA right now, it's what happened in boxing for many years, and it usually happens on a round-by-round -round basis. But if you expect Ben Henderson to wipe the floor with uh, Josh Thompson, and he doesn't, people start giving Thompson rounds. He broke his hand in the, in the middle of the second round, perhaps, and they think that, hey, since he fought on three more rounds with a broken hand, he deserves the win. No, he has to win the fight to deserve the win. Ben Henderson won this fight. And... Listen, like I said, Ben Henderson is only going to be beaten by Pettis. Pettis' little brother lost on the card, and I expect that in the rematch, Pettis is going to beat Henderson again. Nobody else in the UFC is going to beat Ben Henderson. Uh, up next was uh, Stipe Miocic versus uh, Gonzaga. That fight went pretty much how I thought it was going to as well. Gonzaga got overly tired, overly fast. And look, I don't even know why the guy gets these kind of fights anymore. He's not deserving of him, and it was a showcase fight. So, again, he got blown out. Did he get knocked out? No, because he was fighting not to get knocked out. And at this level, if you try your hardest to not get knocked out, look, you're not going to get knocked out, and you're going to make a boring fight that nobody ever wants to see again. Gonzaga probably won't be in, in main cards. He's probably going to have to string together another couple of wins or find somewhere else to go fight. Uh, the one place where I was wrong was Donald Cerrone and uh, Martins. I thought Martins was going to luck up and, and score a, a nice submission win and, and you know, set the blogosphere on fire. Cowboy Cerrone got the knockout of the night, and the other guy was the one who earned the uh, fight of the night, or the knockout of the night, I, I should say. And it was Cerrone. Hey, my hat's off to him. My cowboy hat's off to him. He had a great, great knockout against a guy who was coming off of six straight wins. Cowboy Cerrone is back in the picture. Again, this is the Bowtie Boss here for Fight Combat Sports News.